Okay, so in this example, we again we have a quad geometry where there is there are two plates, one at the bottom, other at the top. The plate at the bottom is stationary; it is not moving. However, the top plate is moving with a velocity uh, three meters per second to the right, uh, and this is a little bit different from uh, usual examples that you see. Uh, in the sense that in usual examples you only have a single fluid between the plates but in this example there are two different fluids fluid 1 and fluid 2 uh, of different thickness uh, as well as different viscosities and different specific gravities which are given in the problem uh, and these fluids are immiscible so there is a sharp interface between the two and since we are moving the upper plate there is a velocity profile in the fluid one and similarly there is a different velocity profile in fluid two but both of these velocity profiles are linear because it is a quiet flow uh, and the velocity of this interface between fluid one and fluid two is given it is and it is two meters per second so in this problem we are asked to determine the ratio of the shear stress on the top plate to the shear stress on the bottom plate um, and now let's go ahead with finding out what that ratio is uh, even though all the values of viscosity and specific gravities and these thicknesses are given here it is uh, useful to still represent them in terms of variables so that we can do all the analysis and get a final expression and finally we will just then substitute the values of these variables in the final expression to find out the answer so i'll sketch this situation again so we have a top wall which is moving with velocity let's say capital capital v the bottom wall is not moving it is stationary this is the interface between fluid one at the top and fluid two at the bottom and let's say this is the kinematic viscosity specific gravity let's say the kinematic viscosity is of the top fluid is mu1 specific gravity is sg1 and similarly for the fluid 2 it is mu2 and specific gravity is sg2 and this thickness is h1 and the thickness for the second fluid is h2 and this is h1 this is h2 and and the velocity profile is given it is linear in both the cases well the velocity is here is zero the velocity here is three meters per second which is equal to v and the velocity here is 2 meters per second which is let's say is capital U so you already know that shear stress the y-ax let's say my coordinate system is such that the horizontal axis is x vertical axis is y is the dynamic viscosity times the velocity gradient du by dy but again in this problem we are given the kinematic viscosity and kinematic kinematic viscosity is 
nothing but the ratio of dynamic viscosity and the density so this is the shear stress on the fluid so the shear stress on the plates is equal to negative of the shear stress on the fluid so it will be minus mu times du by dy and and since so u u here is the x velocity of the fluid which is a function of y so since the velocity profile is linear du by dy is easy to calculate and and du by dy is simply the difference in the u velocity divided by difference in the y coordinate so let's say in fluid 1 du by dy will be the difference between the velocity of the top plate and the velocity at the inter interface divided by the thickness of this first fluid frame and in the second fluid the gradient du by dy will be difference between the velocity of this interface and velocity of the uh, bottom plate divided by the thickness of this fluid which is which is h2 so tau yx acting on the bottom plate is basically equal to minus tau yx acting on the fluid at y equal to 0 which will be equal to minus mu 2 times delta u u 2 divided by delta y 2 so this is the expression for the shear stress acting on the bottom plate due to the fluid and similarly the shear stress acting on the top plate will be equal to negative of the shear stress acting on the fluid but at y equal to h1 plus h2 so it is basically equal to negative times minus mu1 delta u1 divided by delta y2 again remember delta u sorry delta y1 uh, delta y2 uh, and delta y1 here are the thicknesses of these films and delta u2 and delta u1 uh, are basically the difference in the velocity at the top and the interface for the for the fluid one and delta u2 is the difference between the velocity of this interface and the bottom wall for, for the fluid 2. So if we take the ratio of these two, so the yx on top plate divided by the yx that is the shear stress on, on the bottom plate is simply equal to the ratio of these two and which comes out to be mu1 divided by mu2 times delta u1 divided by delta u2 delta y2 divided by delta y1 so delta y2 is h2 and delta y1 is h1 so substituting it here it is mu1 divided by mu2 delta u1 del divided by delta u2 to h2 divided by h1 now here you can see we have dynam dynamic viscosity in the ratio here but what we are given in the problem is the 
with this kinematic viscosity so we need to replace this dynamic viscosity uh, in terms of kinetic kinematic viscosity uh, and as you may know kinematic viscosity is defined as dynamic viscosity divided by the density uh, and here we are given the specific densities so it will be dynamic viscosity divided by specific gravity times the density of water so if we rearrange the terms the dynamic viscosity is kinematic viscosity times specific gravity times density of water and now as you can see all the terms all the terms on the right hand side are known and so for fluid 1 mu 1 is kinematic viscosity of fluid 1 times the specific gravity of fluid 1 multiplied by the density of water similarly mu 2 is kinematic viscosity for fluid 2 specific gravity for fluid 2 the density of water so just substitute these here uh, in the ratio and what you will find out is that tau y x in the top wall top plate divided by tau y x in the bottom plate is nothing but the ratio of specific gravities the ratio of kinematic viscosities and the ratio of change in the velocities and the ratio of fluid fluid film thickness as h2 and h1 now delta u1 is basically delta u1 uh, delta u1 is the difference in the velocity of top plate and the interface so if i write it delta u1 is basically 3 minus 2 equal to 1 meter per second and delta u2 is the difference between this interface the velocity of this interface and the velocity of bottom plate which is equal to 2 minus 0 which is 2 meters per second now now this is because the we have no slip boundary condition so the fluid near the top plate moves with a with the same velocity as that of the top plate and and the fluid and this interface uh, the fluid at this interface the fluid 1 and fluid 2 again moves with the same velocity 2 which is given and the fluid at the bottom plate is is stationary because this bottom plate is not moving so yes so now we also know what delta u1 and delta u2 are so delta u1 is 1 meter per second delta u2 is 2 meter per second h2 and h1 are also given h2 is 0.36 meter h1 is 0.01 meters sg1 and sg2 are also given which is sg1 is 0.8 sg2 is 1.1 kinematic viscosities are given u1 is 1 centistokes u2 is 1.3 centistokes and yes so just substitute these in the ratio and what you will find out is that tau y x in the top plate divided by tau y x in the bottom plate is equal to Point 0.8 divided by 1.1 to 1 divided by 1.3 
to 1 divided by 2 to 0.36 divided by 0.01. And now finally, if you solve this, it is exactly equal to 1. So what that means is the shear stress acting on the top and the bottom plate are, are, are exactly the same. So what that means is basically the shear stress across this interface is, is also a constant. And because we have a linear velocity profile, the shear stress in in the entire fluid one is is the same uh, and similarly the fluid stress in the entire fluid two is the same and because of the continuity of shear stress across a liquid interface the shear stress acting in fluid one is exactly equal to the shear stress acting in fluid two and which is also the shear stress acting on on the top and the bottom plate so that is the reason uh, this ratio is coming out to be 1 uh, and this is one of the important boundary conditions to use at any fluid fluid interface one is the no slip boundary condition that means both fluids move with the same velocity and the second is continuity of shear stress, viscous shear stress. That means tau yx across an interface. So tau yx for fluid one at the interface is equal to the shear stress tau yx for fluid 2 at the interface. So that's it. That's the solution to the problem.